All right. <coughs> Goddamn. Four Knox Podcast. Today I'm going to be talking about 556 silencers. And this is probably, I say probably, but I'm hoping this is going to be the last time I actually talk about it or them in general. This is going to be the big one, and it's not going to have every single 556 can that I have in the video. But I'm going to be talking about a handful of cans. I'm going to be talking about the Velos with an ASR with a rear end. I'm going to be talking about the Turbo K, um, the Polonium K. The Knights Alphabet Soup PRT 3D printed fucking little can because I have one. Um, the CGS size 6. And I think I even fucking actually brought out a Silencer Co. Um, Saker K, which I don't hate. I actually like that can a lot. Um, and I'm sure there's another can in there that I fucking forgot to even mention. But the reality of, of Silencer ownership for me is something that I like sharing with other people. Um, purely because I'm dumb, I own all these cans. Now, a lot of people want to talk about Pew Science, and I love that dude, he does really good work, but you gotta understand how to navigate shit. If you're stupid, like me, well, you're not stupid, I'm stupid. If you are not, um, able to navigate numbers, and you really don't know what anything means, you're looking for someone who's going to dumb it down for you. I'm not that person. I'm just going to give you a dumb version because I, myself, am that. Lots of new shit on the market. Velos is, Huxworks, K, uh, the, the Flow Through K, the Knights PRTs and all the, their alphabet soup shit that they're releasing. The CGS is both the Helios and the um, Psy 6. There's so much stuff out there. Poloniums, turbos, turbo Ks, Sakers, full size Saker K or full size Saker, Saker Ks. There's so many cans that exist out there. Anything from Griffin and and Rex and all these companies, right? In the end, I will tell you that I own about 50 fucking cans. A lot of them um, have a ton of rounds through it. Some of them have no rounds through them. Some of them, I shot maybe two or three magazines, and I just didn't care for it. Um, and I can tell you right now, the can that in my collection that I really don't care about the most is going to be the Lahar K. I understand that a lot of guys got good stuff out of them. They want they got good numbers, according to Pew Science. And again, I love that dude. He does amazing work. Just my application and your application might be completely different. If you're looking for a 30 cal can, you know, because all you do is shoot 300 blackout, do you want a long 300 blackout can? Maybe. Maybe you want it on a gun that's going to be short. we got to remember my application and how I do things and how I shoot and what I shoot is completely different than most people's. My firing schedule is completely different. My, like, all my guns are set up different. I have a lot of stuff. Very fortunate. So thank you for that. Uh whoever you want to pray to or whatever. But when it comes to 556 five, silencers, at the end of the day, what can you buy is the can that you should be getting for your own reasons. If you need something that's bomb proof, that's not going to fucking blow up. Your mount might get fucking st stuck every once in a while. Go buy an RC2. If you don't want an RC2 because it's got too much back pressure, buy an SB2. I have both. I love SB2s. I prefer SB2s over RC2s. That being said, I also like Turbo Ks. I love Polonium Ks. I like Saker Ks. I like RC2 uh, Minis. I like I like compact cans because the application of shooting a ten and a half inch machine gun, those cans make more sense to me than shooting a full size thirty cal can on a ten and a half inch gun that is going to be my you know, do it all can. I don't have do it all cans. That's not how I how I operate. So when it comes to buying a five five six can, with all of these goofy comparisons that exist, and I've done some comparisons here. I've actually shot, you know, uh, the Sierra five versus the Polonium K or the CGS or whatever. There's a couple of different comparisons with some ten and a half inch guns and even some eleven fives. And before you get your panties in a bunch, I do talk a lot of shit because that's what I do. So. This is just going to be a video of me talking about fucking cans, talking shit about cans, and just kind of putting it out there and hopefully people really start to understand that you should be hopefully buying something based off of your needs, not what someone else tells you what you need. 
if that makes sense. And I might be contradicting myself because, again, I'm not that intelligent. But when it comes to silencer ownership, it sucks, right? It takes forever. And I, and I know guys are out there getting 90 day, getting cans back in 90 days. Dudes are having shit blow up. Tons of customer service issues with certain brands or whatever. But let's be real. If you want a silencer go can and you do that's what you want to shoot or you want a Rex can or you want a CGS, don't buy it because the fangirls. Buy it because that can applies to how you shoot your firing schedule. It works with the muzzle devices you like. I will talk about this a little bit further in on the video and I'll most likely do another CGS can after I just said I don't want to do any more fucking uh, silencer videos. But there's some stuff that exists out there that I just don't care for because of, like I said, my firing schedule, how I shoot my guns, and they just they they don't they don't work for me very well. So hopefully the next bit of this video actually makes some sense. Um, this is me being scatterbrained and just kind of rambling on fucking camera. So my apologies about that. But hopefully this helps some people um, decide on what fucking can that they decide. Well, decide what can that they want. There you go. So. Run it. All right, so this is where we're going to be shooting. So let's get it out of the way so everyone can fucking get their dumb comments out there. And you don't own an 11.5, nor do you own a 10.5. You don't even own a 12.7. But here you are complaining in the fucking comments. I've spent all of my fucking savings. Just kidding. Uh, no, I'm not in credit card debt. Take that shit back to Reddit. So here it goes. We're gonna be shooting 10 and a half inch. This is a Colt. Sorry, I lied. This is a 10.3. Rather, the gate I already lied to you. 10.3, 10.5 PSA. Everyone knows, loves PSA. Spirit LT 556. This one has an ASR in it, so we're only gonna be shooting one, two cans on this that I think I have with me that have an ASR. 11 and a half inch, and then another gun. 11 and a half inch. This is the SR15. This one actually is for the Knights can. So these two guns right here are kind of going to be moot because they're shooting two specific fucking cans, which most people don't even fucking have because they're stupid and they're expensive. Or, no, one of them is stupid and expensive, but I'll shoot it anyway. It's 11.5. You're going to compare it to the 10 and a half inch because it doesn't fucking matter. Let's jump into cans that we're going to be shooting. Velos with the Reardon. I preach about Reardon. Love this shit. Velos ASR. Knight's Armament, their proprietary shit. This is the 3D printed can. I've already talked about this. We're going to talk about some more. Right here, CGS size 6. I lied. I'm only shooting one of these fucking one of these guns with a size 6 and it's a 10.5 inch because I forgot this is a proprietary fucking mount. I'm going to complain about this can. We'll get to that. Now, the other cans that we will be shooting, which are going on the one 10 and a half inch gun, 10.3, Turbo K, Polonium K, Sierra 5, and then finally, the other Velos. You already talked about this. And then uh, last but not least, I brought this just for shits and gigs. It is a Saker 556K. I like these cans quite a bit. Let's look. Uh, compared, it's a little bit shorter. It's what, one, two baffles. Hopefully, Silence Co., if you take any any advice, I don't want to call it advice. If you take any criticism from idiots on the internet like myself, I swear to fuck, a Velos K, a Velos 30 Cal, and a Velos 30 Cal K, I swear, fucking make it happen. So, we're going to shoot these right here, all of these, and we're going to shoot all of these on all of those, and everyone can shut the fuck up about the CGS, the Sierra 5, and this other stuff. None of it's even relevant, but we're going to do it anyways. All right, first thing is going to be the fucking CQD, QDC, MCQ, PRT, Knight's Armament. Stubby fucking 3D printed. This is the can. 11 and a half inch on a Knight's Armament. Nice 
Also, I will be wearing ear protection this entire fucking time because if you don't wear your ear pro with 5.56 five, when you're shooting cans, you're a fucking asshole. You gotta remember the reason we're using this shit. For the most part, us. A, it's fucking cool. That's the first part. The second part is you want to maintain what you have left of your hearing because your eyes and your ears, you don't get back, right? So I'm just going to say that. This is a safety thing. A, uh, what's this thing called? <laughs> Saker, Saker 556K on the spear and the 11 and a half inch. This can is very old tech. And I say old, I mean almost fucking 10 years old. Dude, this thing's not that gassy on this gun. It's not that uh, loud either. Oh, that one was pretty gassy. <laughs> oh, so there you go. Saker K, 556. Uh, the uh, internet's favorite new fucking silencer, CGS Psi 6. This is a 556 dedicated can. Um, I have had issues with this can, mostly the mounting solution, which is a taper after the thread. Let's see if I can get it to do it again on, on camera. Ooh. This is gassy. So to solve your gassy issue, you just move and shoot. So Let's see if I can get it to do it. Cans loose. The rest of these uh, cans are all going to be uh, with rear, in, rear ends on them. So keep in mind these are not factory mounting options for most of these cans. They are a direct thread with a taper or a taper thread with a taper. There you go. It's better. Polonium K. This is going to be the first one that we shoot. Shout out to Andrew, Otter Creek. I love this can. I've abused the living fuck out of this thing. Same with every other can that I have. I really disrespect them. So I actually just push these things directly straight into fucking water. I'm going to shoot a couple of semi-auto rounds through this thing, and then I'm going to swap it out and put another one on it. Just purely because before I get these things super fucking hot, we have the ability to get semi-auto on them, and then I'll do some fucking machine gun fire. 10-3. YHM Turbo K, again with the reared end. Now you can tell that this thing is actually louder than the Polonium, but again, the price point, this thing is really cheap. Dead Air Sierra 5, again with the reared end, not a factory rear option. Knurling, if you know anything about the internet and how much Instagram likes knurling, here it is. Sierra 5. It's not too bad. Sierra 5 was done. This is the Velos. Oh shit, I pinched the shit on myself. I actually probably have the most rounds through this one, huh? Yeah. Velos LBP low back pressure. Oh, I guess there's a couple more rounds. <laughs> so, woo! There are one, two, three, four, five, five, six cans. Um, threw on the rear end. Get these things out there. Let me actually switch up. Throw the Velos on the ASR on the 11.5. Just for shit and gigs for another little bit of data that exists out there. Spear LT, this one... 
11 and a half inch 556 five, i've already talked about it it does have the velos with an asr on it which doesn't bother me the length is a little bit long but we can always fucking put a reardon on it This thing is not gassy whatsoever in this configuration and now the wind picks up when we just get out here so velos all right i got this thing tightened again so what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm gonna shoot the cgs now this is gonna look like a cgs versus the world fucking thing which it could be they're stoked on it this guy is gonna be shooting a sierra 5 on a 10 and a half and i'm gonna be shooting the fucking cgs on a 10 and a half so he's going to shoot five rounds, and then I'm going to shoot five rounds. Go for it. Not even a fair comparison. Not even the same class of silencers. YHM Turbo K versus the Knight's fucking Alphabet Soup. Last but not least, and this is going to conclude our silencer discussion for this video, is going to be the Polonium K versus the CGS Psi 6. And for shit and gigs. <laughs> the reality comes down to it is say that a lot but again it everything comes down to with silencer decision making is how much are you willing to spend are you willing to wait for how much are you willing to deal with when it comes to customer service how much are you willing to get harassed on the internet by dudes who don't actually shoot their fucking their guns um you know that's really what it comes down to so for me um I would, like I said before, I would always suggest an RC2 at this point for a dedicated 5.56 or an SB2 if you shoot nothing but short barrel rifles. You can't go wrong with companies like um, Otter Creek and you can't go wrong with Silencer Co. Um, you can't go wrong with fucking Surefire. I've heard horror, horror stories about their fucking customer service, but I've also heard nothing but good things about their customer service. So... Find out what mounts you like, whether it be an ASR, which I know I've talked about this and guys are always in the comments like, oh, well, what's wrong with ASR? I have a ton of rounds for mine. There's nothing wrong with an ASR. A lot of guys get upset when it comes to talking about the ASR mount or they have, they're very opinionated, not upset. They get really opinionated about it because it's not a one-handed operation. Coincidentally, I'm playing with an ASR in my hand. So guys will get, you know, really opinionated. Oh, they're fucking shitty. They blow up, blah, blah, blah. A lot of that is user error. Sometimes it might be on the end of the manufacturer. But the good thing is manufacturers have good customer service. And customer service, find someone that's got decent customer service. It used to be, you know, who, X, Y, Z. Find out from personal experience. Um, this is probably like the worst thing you can fucking do. You don't want to buy something and then, you know, you don't get your can for another fucking eight months. Looking at a couple different com companies. But again, my personal experience is that everyone that I've dealt with has had good customer service. Um, I did recently get brought out to invited to a Sons Co event um, in Salt Lake. We toured the facility and one of the things that they had a big emphasis on was that their customer service, if you send in a can for repair, it will be out of the fucking facility in two days. So it means if you send a can in on a fucking Tuesday, that shit is already shipped on a Thursday. And depending on where you're at, if it gets overnighted, you can have your can back by Friday. Now, I do know that I have the PRT Alphabet Soup fucking Knight's Armament can. Um, there was a recall on that can. It took me about a month and a half, I believe, if I remember correctly, maybe almost two months, to get that can to them and then back for them to repair a part that already exists. They didn't have to fucking record it or do any other shit. They literally just changed the back end off, off of it. So... You got to know what you're getting into. There's a lot of people out there that talk about this shit and, you know, look at the look at the plus sides for all these companies, not just the negatives because 
we get sold on plus sides and then we get turned away by negatives. Some people, um, I am a different person than most, obviously, when it comes to certain things. Uh, when it comes to silencers, if I don't have a can for six months, it doesn't bother me. That's gonna affect you differently because you have one can or you have two cans. And I'm gonna burn myself on this one. So again, if you're in the position to where you have a couple hundred bucks and you want something that's gonna work for your can or work for your gun and it's a decent can, the YHM stuff is no frills, no bullshit. I will always suggest this to someone who has a couple hundred bucks and enough time to wait for a can, especially if, you know, with the stamp. Silencer Co. has been in the game a long time. I think they've been around 15 years. They've been doing it the fucking most. Um, I, I have a Saker, Saker K. Here's a Saker K right here. Velos. I've been shooting a metric fuck ton of Veloses and Chimera 300s, specifically for 300 Blackout. Love those things. Um, the CGS, if you're looking for something that is, you know, backed by some certain people on the interwebs, CGS is going to be the can that you want if you definitely want some hyped up shit. Um, if you want a can that's going to fucking work every single fucking time, you put it on and granted you installed your muzzle device correctly, get an RC2 or an SB2. Those cans are fucking awesome. And obviously I didn't post any or make any, make any content with those today, but there's enough RC2 footage out there to exist that you can ingest that yourself. And I've done some myself as well. Um, Otter Creek, again, if you got a little bit more money than a fucking, than YHM, buy an Otter Creek. I can't say enough nice shit about Andrew. He's one of the nicest fucking dudes I've met. We came to Vegas. We talked about silencers. He's a powerlifting guy, so he's fucking rad. Here I am ranting about personal shit. Um, but yeah, honestly, buy a fucking can. They're fun. Fuck around with it. That's kind of really where the end of the line is when it comes to silencer discussion. And hopefully I don't have to talk about cans for a while. So, fornoxpodcast.com. I'm going to post some photos, some weights, some all the other bullshit with muzzle devices on the website. And then hopefully do some more YouTube videos. So, there you go.